Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today this video is going to be about how to speed up your broadband. Now I'm not going to talk about software, for example, which browser you use or how old your computer is, I'm just purely talking about the hardware. So things you can do to get the best possible signal. The main thing that will determine the signal is your distance from the exchange. Unfortunately you can't help that unless you're going to move house. But by doing these little little things here, this will get you this will provide you with the best possible speed that you can attain out of your telephone line. Now I'm not talking about cable broadband, this is ADSL broadband, so the likes of you know from, from BT, Talk Talk, Sky, either ADSL or VDSL. This will help VDSL as well. So uh, in most houses now you probably have this set up here where you have a, a black wire or the external cable coming into the master socket and then from the master socket to an extension and then your router will probably be plugged into this extension via a microfilter and from the microfilter, get it the right way around, from the microfilter you will have a, a flat ADSL lead which plugs into your router. So this is the standard setup, master socket, extension with a filter plugged into it and then the lead that goes to your router. Now the best thing to do is to bring your router to the master socket. It might not be possible in all circumstances, but if you can move your, your router to your master socket, that's gonna give you the best possible signal because it eliminates all your extension wiring. But you will need to fit a, an ADSL faceplate because if you don't, the broadband signal is still traveling through all the extension wiring, so you need to isolate it at the master socket. So we have one of these. This is an ADSL faceplate. Now, the idea of this is you remove the front plate from your master socket and then you fit this in its place. You will have to move the extension wiring from here onto the terminals here. So you will have to get yourself a little punch down tool and copy like for like. So if the blue wire goes to number two here, you put the blue wire to number two here. I'm not gonna talk about it in detail because I will do another video about how to wire up ADSL faceplates. I'm just doing a, a quick example of the different kind of connections you can get. So this is an ADSL faceplate. So you will plug this into here and then obviously this wire would be terminated on the back. So then you do away with this front plate and then you will move your ADSL lead straight into here and then your phone into this point here. When you have these fitted, it means you no longer need the micro filters in all your extension sockets because the filtering's been done from here. So you don't need to have micro filters for your sky, for your phone, for your fax. So you can do away with all the micro filters. So that's a, you just plug your phone straight into here. So that's a handy little point about the ADSL faceplate. Now, the newer version of the ADSL faceplate and the type that they use on VDSL lines is this here. This is a VDSL plate or FTTC, that's uh, fiber to the cabinet. So these are the latest plates you can get. So again, your socket will look like that. And with these ones, you don't even have to get involved in the wiring because there's a little cutout here. So it couldn't be any easier. You plug that into that, and then plug that into there, and that's it. It does the same job as this, but it saves you having to get involved with the connections at the back. Also, the video cell filter has a wider frequency range, so this will give you the best possible signal, and you have to have these if you're working with VDSL, because on these, the signal, these, these won't allow the full range of frequencies, so it can block a bit of the signal out. So the VDSL plate is definitely the best one to get, and so simple to use as well. You just plug it in, so that's like that. You unplug it, plug that in there. There's a little cutout at the bottom there for your extension wiring, and then you plug it in. And it comes with the screws and everything. You put the two screws in there, and then you put your little screws in there. So that's it there. So again, with this, there's no need for filters in all the extension sockets, so you can plug your phone straight into all your other sockets in the house. So it stops the signal right here. And what you would do is, you would move your broadband cable to here, and your phone cable in here. So this is the one feeding your router, and this would be the one feeding your normal phone. Now you can fit the VDSL, place, VDSL faceplate to ADSL lines. You don't have to have VDSL to use this one. So this is the best possible. If you have one of these filters, it's the best possible connection. And what I would say as well is, get yourself another lead. These flat leads are no good. I've already done a video about it. Get yourself a nice twisted pair lead. So this particular one's Cat5e, and this one has an RJ45 connection at the end. Again, RJ11 will fit, or RJ45 will fit. That's the bigger plug, if you can see the difference between them. 
I've already done a video on this, so again, I won't go into detail. But the RJ45 plug fits into there. So that's your best possible connection. Your extension sockets are now filtered for the voice, so you don't need the ADSL filters. You've got your VDSL filter in there with a the wide range of frequencies, and you've got a decent lead, so this will plug into your router. So that's your best possible connection. Now, you may not be able to have your router by your master socket because uh, there might not be any power there or it might be just too inconvenient if it's in the hallway and people's going to be tripping over it. So this, is the, this has been around for quite a, for quite a while now. This is an eye plate. Uh, they're not great, but they're better than nothing. They are, what they do is they remove the bell wire filter. So often you can see quite a bit of an increase by fitting one of these. Again, simple to fit. You just plug it in. Plug your face plate back in, and then you can have your extension sockets, uh, your, your broadband off your extension sockets. But again, you have to go back to having filters plugged in. So that will connect up your router like so. So uh, if you can't have your master socket by the, by if you can't have your uh, router by the master socket, then there's not much you can do. So you're going to have to fit an eye plate, and uh, at least that will give you uh, that will remove all the bell wire interference. So it will be good for that. Uh, another thing people do is sometimes they just cut away, they just take out terminal 3 because that is the bell wire. So by taking out terminal 3, it really does the same thing as the eye plate. This eye plate also has an RF filter in there as well. So it's slightly better to fit these, but it, you'll probably get pretty much the same results by just taking away the bell wire 3. The problem is when you go over to VDSL in the future, which you probably will do eventually, then if you've removed the bell wire, then some of the phones ain't gonna ring if you've got older phones. So it's always worth, I think it's worth just either getting the eye plate or getting the, you know, getting the VDSL plate rather than just taking out the, the bell wire filter. Now the last thing I wanna show you, there's one other thing that uh, not a lot of people know about, but basically the new sockets now, the new master sockets, the NTE5 master sockets, they've now done away with the surge protector. So if I just take the inners out, you can see that they've got the ring capacitor, they've got the outer service resistor, but they no longer have the surge protector. So if you have a look at the old style, older style NTEs, so we've got a screw terminal one here and an IDC one here, you can see the little black surge protector. Okay, so if I take the innards out, you can see on this one, you have the ring capacitor, outer service resistor and the surge, uh, the the surge protector. So the new ones have done away with the surge protector and that's not because they're trying to save a few pence, it's because the surge protector apparently can block some of the frequencies when used for VDSL. I'm not sure at this moment in time whether removing a surge protector will help your ADSL signal. A few people say it does, so you might find an increase in your ADSL by removing the surge protector. But if you have VDSL, then uh, get yourself a new master socket because then it will remove, they haven't got the surge protector in them anymore. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So not a lot of people know about that surge protector yet, but that's uh, that's why they've uh, emitted them from the new master sockets. So basically, yeah, just to recap, if you can move your router to your master socket, do so. Fit a VDSL faceplate, because it's nice and easy. Get yourself a decent twisted pair lead. This one's Cat5, I also do Cat6 or even telephone twisted pair is always going to be better than the flat ADSL cable that most of the service providers provide. And lastly, either remove the surge protector or better still, get yourself a, a new NTE master socket without the surge protector. And that's all you can do as far as the hardware is concerned. Obviously, software can make a difference and the age of your computer can make a difference. If your computer is seven years old and you go out and buy a new computer, you're going to notice a, a huge increase because the computer itself is working quicker. But as far as the hardware is concerned, these are the little things you can do to get the most out of your line. You might do all this and it may not make a difference. Uh, it, it depends on how much noise and stuff there is on your line at the moment. But by doing this, you're going to get the best possible speed out of your line. So it's, it's, it's worth doing it and you may see a big increase. Okay, thanks a lot for your time. If you uh, want any of these products, again, they're in my eBay shop. That's uh, mrtelephone.co.uk and that will link through to my eBay shop and you'll find them all there. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos in the future. Thanks very much. Bye now.